Across the European Union, young people are drowning in a housing crisis. Costs are so high that it's incredibly difficult to make ends meet, and no, the problem wouldn't go away if youngsters would stop buying takeaway coffees and avocado toast. Decent accommodation in our cities have become a luxury, overshadowed by short-term rentals catering to tourists. And the available options are often subpar and overpriced. And this impacts all young individuals. It hinders their ability to begin life, have an education, start families. And of course, there are leaders and communities who can show the way out. An example I know quite well is that of Tomás Soproni, the mayor of Budapest, Terry's Vatos district, a mayor who utilized local budgets to renovate municipal housing, offering affordable social rentals to students and young families. But this issue, let's face it, extends beyond individual efforts. And the European Union must acknowledge its pivotal role in this. We urge for more direct European funding channels, empowering local governments, the first responders to this crisis. They possess the expertise and the local knowledge necessary for impactful change. We need more substantial funding for social housing to create safe havens for our young citizens. And the Commission's Affordable Housing Initiative is a step in the right direction, but we need a focused program tailored specifically to the youth and more cooperation with local governments have to happen. Increased public investment in university housing is also essential. Education should not be a luxury and stable housing is the foundation of learning.